Hey guys, you're here with Doug, AK The Real One, coming at you today with another quick YouTube video. We have something special in store for you today, a quick review on the Seagate 16 terabyte internal desktop hard drive. This is a regular SIDA based drive with SIDA power and data connections. It's 7200 RPM, has 256 megs of cache, and a whopping 16 terabytes unformatted worth of space. This is pretty much one of the largest prosumer consumer data center drives you can even buy as of late 2019 until next year. So feel free to watch the video, I'll pop this in my system, we'll do some data transfers and tests with a couple different tools and see what kind of performance this data beast has in store. As always I'd like to thank Newegg for sponsoring this video, thank you for providing the drive for review. So with that being said, let's get to testing. Both the Toshiba and Seagate Aaron Wolf drive are going in the drive cage on the far side of the SM8. Once we load up Windows 10, I ran this new drive through a health and smart check via HDTune Pro trial and then ran a full read and write test. As can be seen, reads start out at over 250 megabytes per second, then fall to about 125 meg per second at the end of the drive with bursts close to 300 meg per second. In actual use, this drive can handle a few gigabyte file with the onboard cache and buffer writing, but it obviously can't sustain the speed for too long. CPU usage was about 9% on a 14-core i9-7940X. I then utilized HWinfo for further diagnostics and overview, again ensuring that the drive's information was all showing up as intended. Of course, this tool is able to readily detect all manner of operational and technical parameters, similar to CPU-Z, so naturally not every row here is in the green because features change from drive to drive model or mechanical to solid state. As always, if you're absolutely needing a very specific feature highlighted in the HW info, please consult the manufacturer manuals, your IT department, or administrator. Finally, a quick run of 1GB on Crystal Disk Mark shows as expected performance for Q depths and data rates. A couple megabyte per second for 4 kilobyte files is impressive for a mechanical hard drive. Hey guys, again I'd like to thank you for taking a look at today's video featuring the Seagate Iron Wolf 16TB internal hard drive. I hope that this video has been insightful, informative, and has helped you make a better purchasing decision. As always, you can look below the video in the description for Amazon affiliate links or links to Newegg where you can purchase this drive in varying capacities, not just 16 terabytes. And as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech review videos in the future. Thanks for watching.